What's up, everybody? Jed Johnson here from DieselCrew.com. Of course, you know they call me Napalm. Hey, I was going to skip today, but I just got a great question from uh, my good buddy, Anthony Clarino. And he says, hey, here's a question if you decide to post more, more of these, and I am going to post more. This evening, the almighty algorithm randomly pushed a video of yours from a grip medley at the 2012 Mighty Mets competition, which looked like a really cool competition with a large audience. Yeah, it was, dude. It was up on the stage. Um, if you guys want to see the video, search Mighty Mets 2012-medley-jed Johnson. And uh, he goes, can you talk a little about what was contested in that medley, how you did, and how you think 2022 Jed would perform comparatively? So let's go over what was in the video. First off, I had absolutely no recollection of this video whatsoever. I totally forgot that there was a medley in that competition. And if you would have asked me how I did, I would have told you that I did a lot better. So it's just weird how my memory works because I actually did pretty shitty at that medley. The first feat, which you can't see, was a giant dumbbell. I believe it weighed either one, I think it was 120, but it had a three inch handle on it. And they told us you couldn't tilt it at the beginning of the, of the competition. So as I'm lifting it, I'm trying to keep it extremely level. And I knew keeping it level, there was no chance that I would be able to lift that dumbbell. Every single person that loaded that tilted the shit out of it. And one dude even used his leg to load it up on the platform, as far as I recall. So that sucks. I wish I would have gone a little more freestyle on it. I wouldn't have used my leg. That's totally out of the question. But, um, you know, I have in a medley, like, there's rules, but there are no rules. So, like, I don't try to lift a, an inch bell or any kind of challenge bell level in a medley. I tilt the shit out of that thing. So, um... That was the first thing. Then it was two thick 45s, which you can see I lift really, really easily. They had this cool rack that contained it and kept it standing up so it didn't split and splay. The rear lever, could not tell you what that was. It kind of looks like a slam bell, which is a product that's out on the market. Um, but I don't know if that's what that was or not. It might have just been a shot loadable mace that they made um, in their workshop at Sorenex. I'm really not sure, but that was an easy feat. Next was a 45 pound hub, and it looks like this was probably prior to me knowing about the hook thumb, which is where you bend the thumb, and because it looks like I'm going pretty strict with it, or they might have told us that you're not allowed to bend the thumb. I, I'm not sure, but um, I don't train hubs. I haven't trained hubs since probably the 2000 zeros. So, um, you know, those are always a question mark in any medley because I don't train them. Next was a double blob. You had to pick both of those up. Um, I think they were both fat man blobs, but I, 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 don't, I don't know for sure. You had to pick them up both and load them. I got cocky, tried to pick them up real high, and one slipped out of my hand. So luckily it fell on the platform and was counted. After that was an anvil with chains, um, and I didn't even come close on that to loading it onto the, I don't know, 8 or 10 inch loading platform that was there. Uh, and then the phone book I had kind of a hard time with. But I was also playing to the crowd like an idiot, um, you know, so it's always cool when like strongman competitors are up there and they're, yeah, come on, you know, waving their hands and stuff. But then when you go and do it, it looks kind of stupid when you do it, especially when you're not doing too well in the medley. Um, so these days I have no doubts whatsoever that I would have loaded that giant dumbbell. Um, probably today I could lift it level back then. It just wasn't in the cards. I'll throw in there also. They probably had some kind of tendonitis at the time because I was very, very unhealthy. You can see I was, I was quite heavy there. I was probably 280 pounds, uh, much bigger than I am now, but also much fatter, uh, much stronger body wise, but nowhere near as strong as I am in the grip now. Um, I think I would have easily loaded the that challenge bell because I, I have one of those and I, I don't train on it much because it's in my uh, home gym, but you know, anytime I want to lift that, I can lift that. So, um, I feel pretty good about that. Obviously I'm going to get the two forty fives, the rear level lever. I'm going to smoke that to this day. Um, the 45 pound hub, probably I would get it. Um, and if I knew that that was going to be in the medley, then I would train it, but I don't train hubs just, for no reason. I basically only work on them when they're in a contest. Double blob, I probably would have 
um, cleaned both of those uh, if I had to do that medley today. The anvil I feel much better about. I know more about anvil technique. Um, I'm much better on anvils. I mean, I can lift my 200 pound anvil any day I try, not always on the first try, but any day I give it a try. And then um, the phone book is never a problem either. So cool question, Anthony. Um, thanks for putting that in. Uh, we got her done real quick here. Hope you like that video. If so, give it one of these, everybody. Be sure to subscribe, share with your friends. Any other questions you want me to cover, put them in the comments section below. Thanks and all the best in your training.